A Ghana vs Nigeria game has been set. The dates have been announced by CAF and the venues have been finalized for a chance to play in the World Cup. Yesterday I brought you the cost or the reward, financial reward, should we or should any of the two teams be successful? 12 million dollars is on the line. This could not be a more important match in Ghana football history and it will be interesting to see how it goes in light of that uh, there have been uh, attempts to lure the latest ghana black star striker he is in the person of antoine semenyon it's no surprise and it's no hiding the fact that ghana are lacking in that goal scoring department and antoine semenyon someone i have already talked about here on the channel in the lead up to the african cup of nations you can watch that video up here I just felt Antoine would be a great addition to the Black Stars and from this tweet I saw online yesterday, it looks like the FA are making progress with securing him. We'll talk about another player as well who I feel should be in the Black Stars team. We're also going to talk about Baby Jet Asamoa Jan. He is launching a book of his own and I will see what the book is about. He spoke about it during his punditry role with Supersport after the final of the African Cup of Nations. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. So the dates are set at 24th, 27th, the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. After that issue with the National Sports Authority on the venue being used for the Independence Day celebration on the 6th of March, uh, well, it's too late to change that. Otherwise, Ghana will be giving a neutral venue. And so the FA have written to NSA uh, that CAF are going to they are going to use the cape coast sports stadium on the 24th of march for the game versus nigeria here in the country the national sports authority told the ghana football association that because the stadium was going to be used for independence day celebrations it would not be possible but communications director of the ghana football association henry asantichum has reiterated that it is not going to be possible to change the venue now you need to do that three months ahead of time and now that cap have agreed on cape coast there is no going back it's set let's listen to what he had to say concerning the venue playing cape coast we have already communicated to CAF. um there are regulations that govern football you need to follow those regulations judiciously um 90 days to every game you need to confirm your venue unfortunately at the time CAF wanted us to confirm the venue government had not informed us that they would use the cape coast stadium for the said match independence celebration so kumasi never came up because at that time we did not even you know submit kumasi during the main world cup qualifiers so if it is that government had engaged us at the time or the nsa had engaged us at the time we could have communicated to CAF to then send people to come and inspect the kumasi sports stadium i'm sure if we had done that in november all this wouldn't have come up once we have communicated to CAF that we are playing at cape coast it is non-negotiable so you had him there on the venue for the game between ghana and Nigeria, an all important clash in which we will need our best players. And when we talk about best players, uh, we know uh, that players who are firing on all cylinders in terms of goal scoring, a department we have been lacking in recently. Striking has not been great for us, and the latest striker to score for us was Richmond Bwachi Adam in the African Cup of Nations. Before then, the last time a striker scored from open play for the Ghana Black Stars was in 2020 uh, when uh, Sikia. Kono, October 2020, when CK Akono was in charge. Quite a long time, a striker had scored from open play for the Ghana Black Stars, and that game was against Qatar in a friendly. So, not great with the striking department. In light of that, the Ghana Black Stars management have sought to seek out help in reinforcing that position, and it has come in the form of Antoine Saimanyo. A Bristol City player who, when Sadiq Adams posted this tweet about the FA uh, progressing in talks with him, got a lot of backlash in the comment. If you read the comments in there, I just realized that a lot of people do not know the player. And if you do not know the player, why don't you go and search or look for his videos or judge his play for yourself by watching or researching on him? And they just conclude that because he's playing the championship. He's not good enough for the Black Stars. Mind you, even the championship is better than our Premier League. No disrespect to the Ghana Premier League, but it's a fact. It is a fact. And if a player in the championship is coming to play for the Ghana Black Stars and he is of good quality, 
why not give him the chance? The same issue was had when Jojo Walcott initially came in and there were doubts about his abilities. Well, it was confirmed in the African Cup of Nations he can improve, but the alternatives were giving chances versus Algeria in friendlies and they proved that Walcott, though not so great, is the best of our options. Uh, Semenyo is a great player, he's a good striker. He has 10 goal contributions in 16 appearances just this season, 4 goals, 6 assists. He will be a great addition front line for the Black Stars, uh, which has been misfiring and firing blanks even if it attempts to and uh, to fire. Uh, so he will be a great addition as you can see here. His some of his uh, highlights on your screen. Semenyo, I have talked about him here on the channel before. We'll link a video up here for you to go watch him. Also, Elisha Owusu, another one in midfield who will be great addition for the Ghana Black Stars as well. In the right back position as well, we need reinforcement and there are so many options which are available and ready to play for the Ghana Black Stars. I think that uh, the FA doing this is a move in the right direction and I support it 100%. Uh, uh, my next story has to do with Baby Jet Asamoa Chan. He is set to launch his book. On Thursday, he said, my team and I together with Mr. Tony Bafo and the Minister of Youth and Sports, Honorable Mustafa Yusif, visited the president at the Jubilee House to have further discussion on my book launch. According to Jan, the book will inform readers about how he dealt with the pressure of playing at the African Cup of Nations for Ghana. He gave a hint about the book when describing Sadio Mane earlier missed penalty kick and the lead penalty which won the title for Senegal. The Liverpool forward had already missed the penalty in normal time but still stepped up in the penalty shootout to score the deciding penalty. And Jan was also in a similar situation in 2010 after he missed a crucial penalty. Unfortunately for Jan, in his situation, Uruguay still progressed. It's the morning after yesterday's historic win by Senegal and I want to thank you all for coming along my AFCON 2021 punditry journey on Super Sports TV. It was an experience worth all the work that went into it. I'm glad you enjoyed my time on various matches, he wrote on his Twitter handle after ending his punditry rule uh, with uh, the Super Sport on their channel uh, following the African Cup of Nations that ended just this weekend. It was great to see Baby Jet talking football. Panditry, I think, is the next thing he'll be into. Uh, but I'm looking forward to his book. He hasn't given us a hint of the title of the book, but I'm looking forward to it. I read Lucia Pierre's book, uh, Leaders Do Not Have to Yell. Uh, quite an interesting and revealing read about the insights uh, into Ghana football. What happened uh, during 92 African Cup of Nations exactly? Our uh, last AFCON win in 1982, he was part of that squad. It was interesting to get insight from someone who actually did experience experience all that in detail. I really enjoyed reading that book and I'm looking forward uh, to Baby Jetta Samwajan's uh, new book uh, being read in there. And it will be fun to see what he has to say concerning playing in the Black Stars and all the behind the scenes stuff we don't get to see as fans of the game. The coach of the Ghana Black Stars has not yet been announced officially uh, but reports are that there are hiccups with uh, the salary of coach of the Black Stars who is Chris Hutting. 120,000 is what is being purported to be what he is going to get and some are contemplating whether it's not too much. If we are paying 120,000 it means we could have hired Herb Renard who was demanding 100,000. But all this is conjecture, rumors and all that. Uh, the Ghana Football Association president is currently in town and the meeting will be forthcoming. Processes will have to be followed as I brought you yesterday and ultimately we will get our coach, we will get our man and we will have the announcements done. So that has been it for today. Antoine Semenyo uh, could be lining up for Ghana versus Nigeria in the World Cup 2022 playoff versus Nigeria. The venue has been set, the date is set 24th and 27th, 24th in Cape Coast, 27th in Abuja. The venues all set and ready to go. Samwajan set to release a book. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week.